Hey, what's up? It's the disembodied floating voice of Nash walking you through a typical seining set. Don't worry, it's not going to be all seascape, although that uh, gives you an accurate idea of what we had to stare at for long periods of time between sets. I'm actually missing footage of the first 30 minutes of these hour-long sets. Um, basically, there is the main boat that you're on and then a smaller motorboat called a skiff that uh, pulls out your giant net and you make a big you with the net and then all the fish swim in there and then you stab the ocean for a half hour to keep them from running out and then you close it up the skiff circles back around and uh here we are hauling hauling the end of the seine in the seine is our uh big multi-layered net and then we haul it in and the whole set takes about an hour um so you can see the skiff back there in the uh, in the background in some other boat and the skiff's job now that it's tied to the back of the boat is to keep the seine taut as we haul it in to keep fish from swimming out the bottom as we close it up to form a purse um, and then it tows the boat against the currents and the winds and keeps us away from snags and other potential hazards you can see this footage is sped up, uh, I don't know, like 16, 32 times speed. Uh, that's me in the green with the hat. Now I'm stabbing the ocean. Uh, these, these purse rings here uh, bash me in the side of the head all the time. They're a nice heavy metal. Um, the webbing from the seine would constantly smack me in the face. It's covered in jellyfish. Get jellyfish in my eyeballs and my mouth. Uh, always burning, always burning. That's why I had to get the white hat. And then you can see we've got to pull fish that get stuck in the seine prematurely out as we coil everything. The blue line is the purse line. I'm working the lead line, which is the crappiest of all the lines. And then we bring the bag in, and that would be the totality of the fish we caught in that hour. So now we're rigging everything back up and getting ready to run another set, which is another hour-long thing we're tying the skiff back up making sure everything's good to go and then as we travel to a new spot that hopefully has way more fish we have to hurry up and get the fish into the fish hold as we travel then we clean the deck but if you get a good haul that was a crappy haul if you get a good haul boom look at all that that's not even the full bag you have to pull it in push it back in pull it back up we slide the whole hatch cover off and dump it all in there just bag after bag and thousands and thousands of pounds of fish um, it wouldn't be uncommon on a good day to catch between 20 and 30 thousand pounds of salmon in one set um, so yeah we 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 hauled a couple uh, 25,000 pound sets in an hour um, so yeah not not too shabby then if you do really really good you fill up the entire forty thousand pound fish hold and then you fill up your deck and then you go get a uh a boat to suck all the fish off your boat so that you can keep making those fat fat dollars and that's a typical set here's my hat all right so in order to keep the jellyfish from falling straight into my face and melting it off and getting into my eyes and blinding me I had to get this hat which I then had people draw on and detail with some Nash style stuff so you can see uh, kind of how badly it's degraded but we've got uh, martial arts Pikachu the word Nash a Phoenix lion dog the other lion dog a seascape and a uh, scenery scape got a compass and some uh, yin yang fish <laughs> 